Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and tonight we're gonna cook up a little bit of fresh salmon. We're gonna do skin on salmon, you know, make it nice and crispy. I can't believe I used to always take the skin off of salmon, take the skin off fish. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> you know, because, you know, who wants the skin on there? Because it's all slimy and nasty. But if you fry it up nice and crisp, then the skin becomes delicioso. So we got a, uh, a filet of of sockeye salmon, fresh, wild caught. You know, I've already washed it off and patted it dry uh, with, uh, with some paper towels. But you see there's this uh, line of bones, you know, through there. And uh, you could leave those in there and then uh, cook it with the bones in there. But then when you eat it, when you eat it, you will run the risk of death. <laughs> no, don't die. But you can avoid death. It's easy to do. I got to get my wife's toolbox. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. That's right. This is, this is camera girl's toolbox, not my toolbox. Wait a minute. We can get kitchen tweezers. Huh? And you know, you can take your, you can take your pliers out of the, and you can wash them if you want, but you don't, we don't really do a lot of work, oh so it won't gosh. matter. You can use tweezers if you want. Tweezers is what I use. Huh? You use tweezers? Go for it, That's baby. too delicate. All you have to do oh is boom. God. See this line of bones? You just grab a hold of a bone, boom, and pull it out. Just remember how durable we are as human huh? beings, so it's okay to use nasty pliers. Did you use that on the commode last? Huh? What, what else? Don't ever say <laughs> the word commode in one of my cooking videos. Okay, okay. It's kind of ugly. I should have cooked it two days ago. But there we have our, no, our deboned fish. I had this fish sitting outside of the fridge for about a half an hour. And I just kind of put a coating of olive oil on there. And, and I do a simple seasoning. You know, I don't, I don't over season my fresh fish. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, nothing else. And that's all it's gonna take. Oh, and you've already more. Yeah, I already, already grounded some up. Boom, boom, boom. And that's all the seasoning that I'm gonna put on there. Boom. We'll do some big hunks of chunk. You ain't kidding. Yep. So which side do you like better, the tail side or the head side? Huh, it's all fish to me, man. So I'm using a skillet, boom, with a metal handle because I'm going to cook it up on top of the stove. And then I'm also going to uh, broil it to finish it off. So I'm going to heat my skillet on a medium-high heat. And you turned on your broiler too? Yeah, my broiler's already on because this isn't going to take long. You know, everything, everything you read says, you know, cook, coconut oil is uh, good for cooking at a high temperature or sauteing at a high temperature. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> With our dinner tonight, you know, we're just going to serve the salmon over uh, some fresh greens. And uh, we got some beans uh, cooked beans. up, you know, but for your dinner, you know, do the salmon last. You know, have, have most of your stuff already cooked close to being done before you get to the fish because the fish isn't going to take long to cook at all. The tail is a thinner piece. You know, the two thicker pieces I'm going to cook together. So come on over here to the skillet. I think my oil is hot enough. All right. Show us how it's done. I'm going to go ahead and lay them down, skin side down. Lay them nice and flat. And then that's it. We're just going to leave it alone. And uh, let it fry up there for just a couple of minutes. You know, we'll watch the sides of the salmon and watch it color up. Alrighty, so we've let it go. It's been going for about four minutes. Starting to color up on the side there. At this point, boom, I'm just going to slide it into the uh, oven under the broiler. You don't even unstick it. Wow. I'll unstick it when it comes out. One time. Because it's going to be stuck to the bottom of the skillet. Mm. But it smells good. Yep, it does. It smells delicioso. Salmon, so easy to cook. Just, just keep it simple. You know, a little salt and pepper. You know, fry the skin on the bottom. You know, get a nice uh, crispy sear on there. Throw it under the broiler. Cook the top of your fish. Wham, bam. There's your fish, ma'am. Looks Vundava to me. The thing is, once it comes out of the oven, it's still going to be cooking. It's, it's still going to be hot. 
All right, that's the sound of that's the sound of the smoke alarm, which is always a good sign. All right. <laughs> well, here, go ahead, and focus on this here, and let me. Okay. All righty. Okay. Well, shoot. Let me go. Let me go do the smoke alarm first. Dun 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 dun. Action shot. Get that battery out of there. Dun 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 dun. Go, Bob. Go, Bob. Go, go, go. Oh. Good job. I hope a real fire doesn't start out yep. now. Did you see how quickly I was able to get to the smoke alarm and pull out the uh, the battery? Does that tell them how often we've had to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have a vent. You know, we live in right. an old place. We don't have a vent. Right. All righty. So I'm, since I'm using a nonstick skillet, my thing's going to be stuck here a little bit. So you use a metal spatula and get under there one good time so you don't leave any skin under there because the, the skin is delicioso so okay when you put it on your plate boom do it meat side down do it skin side up Ooh, nice. you know because the skin nice. is nice and crunchy and crisp and you don't want to lay it you don't want to lay it on the bottom of the plate because it'll soften up. Yeah, it'll mess up all your great work. Yeah, it'll mess up the crunchiness. Now, it's not going to look as pretty, you know, as if you had it the other way. But this way, the, 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 crisp, the crispiness of the skin will be retained. So there you have it. Boom. That's how you cook up a, a crispy skin salmon. You know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, super duper quick. Super duper flavorful. Keep it simple. Salt and pepper, boom. A little bit of olive oil on there. Fry the skin in the skillet. Broil the top of the, the meat in the broiler. And that's it. Oh. Mm -mm. oh, this was your piece. So good. The more skin, the better. Alrighty, so we're serving our salmon with just a little bit of beans and some greens and you know you're going to want to uh put your salmon on here like this here like to show it off you know because it looks nice like that you know but it's better to put it on like this you know and leave the skin side up you know the skin's going to retain its uh Crunchy. it's a crispy texture you know if you lay it on the skin it's going to soften it up and it's not going to be as uh crunchy crispy and delicioso so boom, there you have it. And your skin's still crispy, huh? It is, and it's exactly. delicious. I can sort of hear the crispy skin crunch a little bit. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is how we like to eat our salmon. I couldn't show you my plate, because look at that. Looks like Wolverine's been at it. All right, there you go. You know, next time you buy some salmon, salmon's on sale, just pick it up, do this. Taste delicious, cook it up, lickety split. You know, go ahead and give this recipe a try. Not even a recipe. Go ahead and give this quick cooking technique a try. Let us know what you think. And bon appetit.